Hey guys, it's Deligracy here today with another speed build and I'm very excited. Well, actually it's not a speed build. It's actually a speed furnish because this is actually the Sim Supplies build. My good friend James, who is here as well. What uh, up peeps? What up peeps? Um, so yeah, basically he did this amazing speed build. I saw it on his stream and he hadn't finished it, finished it yet. So I was like, can I please finish your build? And he said, yes. So now we I mean, have a collab video. It was a very easy yes, because uh, anyone that's sort of watched me my videos before, I'm always like, you know what? I don't. I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of furnishing, and I, I kind of sat down to do this, and then you asked me as I had just started, and I was like, yes, yes, absolutely, <laughs> you can Yay! take it off my hands. I, I love collabs because my inner uh, Samaj, well, Sim Supply, Samaj is James spelt backwards, yeah, uh, his me. new nickname. So my inner fangirl of Samaj came out because I used to watch James's videos like before I did YouTube and I was a fangirl and I felt like I revisited that and it was really quite a beautiful moment. Oh, that's so cute. It was, it was nice. I never watch your videos so. though. You secretly do. At night time, you go to I, bed I, <laughs> and like under the covers, you watch with a torch. Well, no, actually your phone's backlit, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I do watch your, I watch your like vlogs though and like lifestyle stuff more than your Sims videos. That's what I watch. Well, that's nice. Uh, and okay, so just as a heads up, you guys, it's going to take us a little while to get the interior style of this house. Now, before we get into the finishing, I will say do go over to James's channel and watch this as a speed build. Um, so you can see the building process and- we... well, That's if you want to, you don't have to, but well, it's recommended. It, it's recommended. And we um, collaborated on that video as well. So we're just chatting away. So I'll link that in the description down below and um, put something on the screen for you guys to click if you're interested. But it's gonna take us a little while to get the look and feel of the interior. Cause I was like, do I wanna go with a light interior? Do I want it to be dark? What kind of Sims would live here? And in the end, I made it like an affluent family home. So it's very oh. modern, but then it's gonna have like a lot of family stuff in the backyard and kids rooms. And yeah, I just really enjoyed it. So thank awesome. you. <laughs> so thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome for me not having to do it. <laughs> <laughs> thank no, you so no, much. No, you know what? No, no, thank you for furnishing it because I did not really want to. I don't, it's probably I, 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 I saw a little bit of the end of the furnishing, but I think I'll get a better look in this video. But what I saw, it definitely looked better than what I would have done anyway. So I think it's going to work out for the best. Well, that's nice because I couldn't have built this. So, oh my God, we're having a moment of oh. thanking each other. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, I think we should probably stop doing that and actually okay. <laughs> start okay. moving well, on from that. Here, here is the first color scheme. And let me tell you guys, it is. It's a bit bland. Ill. It's not nice. It's it, not It a good started look. off okay, but then you started, you've turned way too much. <laughs> there's way too much beige. Like, it was, before, okay, there was, a, there was a middle ground between like super beige that we have now and what it was before <laughs> that looked good, but you've gone too far. I was like really feeling the beige. I don't know what was wrong with me. Like, <laughs> there, there was a middle ground where it looked actually really good, but then it, it's just too far. It's too far. I was just really feeling the beige, <laughs> the beige feels, but it's okay. Cause we're going to change it. It's actually going to be very different, but instead of cutting it out, I figured, oh, it's good to show the process and... Um, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like, I don't know how to furnish straight away. Like, I often take my time to figure out exactly what I want to do. So, yeah, this is just like a hot mess, a hot <laughs> bland mess. It is bleak. It's, it's real. Like, everything is beige. <laughs> like, everything. The flooring, the walls, the cabinets, counters. <laughs> I should make, like, a beige sim where everything in their world has to be beige. I only like beige. <laughs> oh, no, they should be like super monotone because they're just beige and everything. Yeah. I only like beige. Beige is what I have. I only eat Cheerios because they're beige. I love Cheerios. They're, they're a good time, actually. Oh, they're a bit of a cheer. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> oh, is that what you're supposed to do? Is that what you do with that thing? Like where the little utensils hang down? I've never put them under a shelf before. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. I... I I, tend makes to sense. I guess that makes, do that, that makes sense. I, otherwise, it looks just a bit random and weird. <laughs> yeah, no, that, make, that makes sense. I don't. That's. I don't really use that. That's probably why. Because I'm like, that looks kind of weird. Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes and this, this is the dining area. So. I, oh yeah, actually, I saw this in the screenshot. I'm like, oh, that's a cool dining table. Yeah. So there's a little bit of um, like graphic tearing there. Like you can kind of see when you move the camera around that they're mm. layered. So it's more just for fun for this build. 
Uh, but I believe your Sims can still use it if you wanted to. Well, and did you test it? No. Ooh, no. <laughs> no. Shut up. James always makes fun of my accent because I apparently have but very that, strong R. I thought you did that on purpose just then, though. You're like, no. no. I, I mean, no, I didn't. No. No. No, but yeah, guys, listen out in her videos whenever she says no. She always goes, no. <laughs> oh, please don't do that. <laughs> Please don't listen. Hey, the color scheme's getting on there though. It's get, it's getting better. Yeah. So now now we're working it. Now it's coming together. And Starting to look a little um, well, like a little a little bit more industrial in a way. Yeah. With the darker with the darker yeah. colors and that. Yeah, it it is a bit industrial. I do like it a lot. And uh, I try to introduce a lot of bright colors to begin with, and then in the end we make them a little bit more muted. Uh, which I think is nicer for this build in the end. And otherwise, I thought you were going to look at it and be like, whoa, <laughs> what have you done? No, but it's always really interesting. Like, like I think this is really cool to, like, watch you furnish it because you, you do so many different things. And I was like what you were saying about with the build as well. Like, we do so many different things. So it's like, I'm getting ideas by watching this. Or Like, I'm just like, oh, I never thought to do that before, you know? Don't steal my ideas. Oh, okay. Well, I won't. I mean, I wasn't nah, stealing. I was, being, yeah. I was being inspired, but that's fine. You can, you can be inspired. It's okay. <laughs> you may be inspired, <laughs> but you may not steal. And I was kind of playing a bit of mismatch with the counters, like having a bit of wood, having a little bit of uh, stone in there. Because to be honest, I'm starting to get a little bit a little bit restless with counter options. There's in not this a game. lot. There's, There's not, not a lot. lot. We need more and kitchens. They're like way too stylized. Uh, there's not enough just like regular looking kitchens. Yeah, like, like there's like many? there's like the one the one standard one that sort of modern contemporary ish one, and like that's the only one that looks like a regular kitchen. Yeah, so it's the, the rest are too much. <laughs> yeah, it's probably something that's like very high on my wish list, and also those hanging bauble garden things. I thought little herbs could be in there, so you could have your mint in one, you could have your basil in another, oregano. Oh, so nice. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I thought so too. And yeah. And how good is that plant in the middle of the table? I think it just a circular plant on a circular or kind of octagonal table. I mean, yeah, I guess an octagonal plant would have been better, but the, the circle's nice too. <laughs> yeah, it would have been cool. <laughs> Still looks good though. So we good. Yeah. Oh, they like, like a little bit of vino. Nice. Yeah, we actually get rid of those, I think. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I mean, I was going to say, it, doesn't, it looks a bit weird. Yeah, I think it was... You know how when you're going through the buy catalog, you just pull out things? Yeah, yeah I'm like, like oh, I, might, oh. I might use that later, but I'm not sure. Yeah, so that was just an example of that for you guys. And yeah. Oh, and also I love the new lights we're getting in The Sims 4. Like, they're becoming a little bit more contemporary every pack we get. Yeah, like, well, I love that, that that's chandelier that you used. Or I guess a hanging light over the table. I love using that one whenever I can. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh-oh, I'm going to cough. <gasps> Uh-oh, don't do it. <coughs> oh, no. I but, ate almonds before recording. That was what I was... I think that's what I asked you before. It's like, what do you say when people cough? Because like when people sneeze, you say, bless you. But when someone coughs, well, like, do you say anything? Or you just be like... Like, what do you say? Someone once told me you say pepper. No, that's dumb. I don't agree with that. <laughs> yeah. Like I've never heard that before. Like you throw pepper over your shoulder or something? What? I That's like know. when you throw like what is it like? Is it when you throw like salt over your shoulder? Isn't that something you do like for superstitious people? Yeah, and they're like, no, you say pepper and you throw pepper over your shoulder, and I'm like, what? Mm, you- I've never, I've never heard that before. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna say, bless you, even though you didn't sneeze, but thank you. I feel like that was your soul trying to escape, so I have to bless you so it goes back in. Oh. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> well, isn't that, isn't that the, the thing, the, the story behind like saying it for sneezing? No, it was because of the plague. Um, coughing, I mean, sneezing was a sign you had the plague. So you'd oh, say okay, bless well. you to... I've also heard that person. one before. You know what? I don't really know. I'm just making it up as I go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And this is just like a nice little formal sitting area. There's going to be two lounge rooms. So this oh, is like perfect. a more formal, cozy one with the fireplace. And then the other one's going to be more like the bigger TV, the place where you might watch a sports game or a movie or something. Have the boys around, a couple of beers, the game. Oh, well, why not have the girls around and watch the game? Well, you can, but it's like, you know, it's like that meme of <laughs> beers with the boys. Beers with the boys. Sorry, juice, having juice. You wouldn't have beer. Or you yeah. could have nectar, I guess. 
Yeah, you could have nectar if you like. I like yeah. those um little wall shelf things that you've done on either side of the, the fireplace. That's cool. Yeah, I've done this a few times. I'm going to steal just... that now. Yeah, you go ahead. <laughs> you go, girl. You take it. Go, girl. Just uh, put a disclaimer in the description if you don't mind that... Um... <laughs> The time. No, I'll make I'll make a uh, I'll make a custom wallpaper that says copyright delicacy on it. <laughs> I'll put that on. Yes, a watermarked wallpaper. <laughs> I'll, I'll just water. No, I'll do it at the beginning of the video a five second watermark that says some ideas may have been borrowed from delicacy. We should start uh, making custom content and watermarking like all of it with our channel names and being like subscribe. <laughs> oh, God, that'd be so annoying. It's like a chair that just says subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe to be like delicacy. At at the sim supply <laughs> that's not even my at though i don't have at the sim supply anywhere oh i mean i have the at the sim supply twitter account but i don't use it what is what is it then oh james turner yt yeah <laughs> what is it then i'm sorry <laughs> i've had it like that for years <laughs> i'm sorry that's i already okay. follow you on everything so i don't pay attention to these small details uh, also, okay. this rug needed to change, so we. Just it just had that. to change. It's just it not just wasn't okay. right. The blue was too much. Well, too the yellow, much. yellow, nice. It was a pop of color. Goes with the uh, uh, stuff. Wouldn't call that yellow. Well, call the rug. That. Yeah, it's, it's a, definitely a yellow. No, 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 no. That's like a. No, the rug is yellow. That's not yellow. Yeah, it that's is. That's like a. That, no, that's a really? moss green. It's very mossy green. Really? Yeah. To me, that looks it's like, like a lime. Yellow. It is a lime moss. What? Okay, I'm googling lime a, moss. A mustard lime moss. A mustard moss. <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> I'm just trying to describe it. I would definitely call that yellow, but then I also didn't study graphic design, so I don't know. Well, I don't think it's so much that. I think it's just more your eyes. I just think it's yellow. <laughs> it's not yellow. <laughs> How is it? Like the okay, point look, of the table is green. It's got, more, it's got green in it. More green than yellow. Like if you but, put yellow next to it. No. Uh, I guess <laughs> I guess it's a close call. Comment down below if you think it's yellow. Or, or what did I say? Mustard moss. Moss lime. <laughs> no, mustard moss green or lime or whatever. They, I don't know. Mustard moss or yellow. Let me know in the comments down below. That would be awesome having a sauna in your own house. Yeah. I mean, it, you'd want it to be infrared. And also, I feel like it'd be one of those things you'd probably use like once or twice and you'd be like, this is too much effort. <laughs> so I'm never going to use it again. Yeah. It'd be cool though. Well, I think normal saunas, they say normal saunas are good for releasing toxins, but I think there's a lot of... Uh, no, there's a lot of people who say you need to have an infrared sauna to actually get toxins out of your body. So if anyone's interested in buying or purchasing a sauna, <laughs> I suggest going infrared. I don't know that people are really in the market for saunas. <laughs> you'd be surprised, James. <laughs> you'd, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Maybe you should be a sauna salesperson. Yeah, maybe that's what I should who, be. Who sells saunas? Like, is that their only job? Or do they have multiple other <laughs> things that they also sell? Uh, no, there's probably just sauna selling people. But how many saunas can you be selling? Because, like, honestly, you're mostly going to be selling them to, like, spas and that. Like, generally, people are not going to be having them in the home. I mean, some people might, but that's, like, yeah. that's what I always think. It's, like, how – that's, like, people that sell, like, supercars, like – how, how much work are you actually doing? Exactly. I always think of that. Like how many people can actually buy a supercar? Like I get it. If you sell one, you're probably good for a long time. But like still, what are you doing the rest of the day? I, I, like, surely they have to be doing something else. Yeah. They're probably just polishing them. If you sell supercars, leave a comment down below and tell us what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Because it's like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, you can't be doing that much. Like no offense, but I just don't. You know what? No, it's just ignorance. I have no idea what you do. Because I, because I, I get, I get like a, a Toyota sales salesperson, right? They're selling them all the time. Boom, boom, boom. You know, there's lots of paperwork to do. There's lots of stuff to get done. Lots of phone calls to be made. Oh, what a feeling! Toyota. Not sponsored. Not yeah, it's not sponsored. Also, what color do you think this rug is then? That looks that looks like it has a bit more green in it okay. than just yellow. Like it's kind of that's more. I would say that's more mustardy than the other one. Okay. No, but 
mustard is yellow. I know, but it's like it's not a bright yellow. It's like a dark yellow, and it kind of looks like it has a bit of green in it, like a little bit of lime in it. Yeah, it's definitely more greeny than yellow. That one in my IMO. Well, that, that's what. Yeah, I think that too. Like definitely on that one. Like I mean, I would probably still like off the bat if I had to choose a color, just say yellow. <laughs> it's so funny how we're just like, hmm. I wonder what color it is. Like, Jazz, my friend Jasmine, she's colorblind but she's not colorblind like she cannot tell colors like if i say okay that blue rug over there she'll be like i thought it was purple it's so weird but she's not colorblind it's really interesting yeah, that's, also that's cool <laughs> <laughs> you're like and i don't really care <laughs> no, no, no it's just like i mean i have no like I, I can't really add anything to that like it's a cool story but i don't have any input <laughs> Also, um, that room in the corner was a nice yoga room because I decided one of the people living here would be a yoga instructor and they would nice. have their yoga classes at the house. That's cool. Yeah. It'd be good if there was a door to like the street, like just on the side of it though, so that they, people didn't have to walk through the house for a yoga class. Yeah, true. <laughs> but, they're, yeah. but they're very, they, they have open arms with welcoming people. Oh, they, they're, so they're very open people <laughs> and they, you know, they just like to, to go without clothes in the house. You know, they're very open. Yeah. That's like um, my Sim Judy. She died, sadly. I must die, Judy. Oh, but uh, yeah, she, uh, she used to garden in the nude. She's a free Sim. <laughs> <laughs> also, I was using a coffee table. I was like, why aren't these chairs like sticking to the table? I was like, oh. What's going on? <laughs> I get it now. Yeah, there's some like nice little planters there. And now this I, is when I we totally start having forgot fun. that that item existed in the game until I saw that you'd put it in this house, and I was like, oh, I forgot that was a thing. The slippery slide. Oh, yeah, and it was so much fun using these new uh, toddler stuff pack items for this build. Director's chair. So Yay! This is what they look like anyway to me. <laughs> um, yeah. So make sure you you get toddler stuff, otherwise you can't use this. And a bird feeder, I never use that. Bird I feeder. also never use that. <laughs> I really, I don't mean to be rude, but I just really don't like it. Yeah, you know what I don't really like? The ball what? pit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, the ball pit. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an item and a half, that's for sure. Um, nice little bit of landscape and some flowers. Looking yeah, good, Deli. Looking just, good. I just, well, you didn't really landscape that much. Well, so I thought we well the garden was extra. supposed to just be clean, but, you know, I was just trying, oh. trying to be like, oh, that's nice. Yeah, cool. Oh, um, okay. A couple of, are those supposed to be like towels or something? Yeah. Little towels there for a little swim in the pool. Yeah, go for a quick dip. Nice. Yeah. And now we are moving upstairs. So uh, I've gone ahead and done all of the bathrooms. Oh, are these two different rooms? Yeah, I put a wall in. Oh, because originally uh, that was going to be like a master bedroom, like like the one big room. Yeah, well, I thought they could have a little study before going into the master. That's interesting. <laughs> I feel like you really disapprove. No, no, no. no. Like, I think it's all right. But it's like, it just as like a bedroom thing to have is kind of weird, right? Well, it just means you walk through your study to get to the bedroom. Yeah, I don't know, I'm saying that's weird in the sense that I've never seen that before. <laughs> Uh, in an actual house. Oh. Uh, not that it's. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying that's weird, right? Like, like, I'm not. I'm not. Am I? Guys, he doesn't like what we've done. No, it's like. Really awkward. No, but have you seen that in a house before, <laughs> though? Uh, I don't know. I. I'm sure it exists. I mean, Carrie Bradshaw has a wardrobe to walk through to get to her bathroom. That's yeah, pretty cool. Oh no, lots of people have uh, wardrobes that get through to the bathroom. Like that's not. I've done that before in houses as well. But I've never seen. A bedroom that starts with an office. I don't know. I'll let you know if I see one. <laughs> <laughs> Give me like five to ten years. I'll build a house and I'll let you know. Uh, this is the master bedroom, obviously. And we've got some powerful red in the bedroom, which it's actually goes against feng shui because it's not a relaxing color. It's it a really fiery isn't. color. But I thought it looked nice. So. No, it actually looks quite nice. I like the... Um, I, I like the texture of the, the wallpaper too. That's cool. Oh, me too. I, um, yeah, so the, the master bedroom has a beautiful ensuite study. <laughs> and the study has an attached bathroom, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I feel like you hate what I've done. No, I don't. No, I actually don't hate it. It's just so strange. Like, this it's is not, not some, that weird. It's not that normal, though, either, though, is it? Like, it's not. It's not. 
I don't understand why you find like it I so could imagine weird. that I could imagine that space being like a like a dressing room, but I I don't think I personally would have ever done a study there. Like I just wouldn't think to do that. Okay. Let Let's move on. Let's move on to the kids. Bedroom. Oh, that's a that's a bright red. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of fun. So this is a kids uh, shed bedroom. So I think we're going to have two shared bedrooms and a nursery slash toddler's room. How many um, Sims ended up fitting in this house? Uh, so the master bedroom, two, four, six, seven. Nice. Because yeah. there was how many? Five bedrooms, I think. Oh, no. There was only There should have been four. Five. should have been five bedrooms and three bathrooms. I think that's what I planned it out to be. Oh, well, then I don't know what I did to the other one. You know what? We'll find out. We'll watch it and find <laughs> out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just thought the blue and red was a bit of fun. It's got a bit of a block color theme going on. Red versus uh, blue. Yeah. Just Classic. nice for a kid's room. I mean, it's when a bit they, of fun. Yeah, when they I get older. I wish I had a color. I wish I had a colorful bedroom growing up. My mother always just like white walls. <laughs> I had yellow walls, like a light lemon yellow, growing up. Lemon cello. Yeah, lemon cello. Yes. <laughs> uh, what is that? Isn't that a drink? Is it? I don't know. I would hope that you knew. Italian drink, I think. Yeah, that's what I thought too. And this is, their bathroom has a little bit of a little bit of fun strips of paint in there. And then this one's going to be the toddler slash nursery, so it's right near the master yeah, bedroom. It, it's a drink. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> Glad we cleared that up. <laughs> I was stressing <laughs> there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and uh, yeah, all of the bedrooms kind of have a really bright color scheme. Because why not? Why not live a little? Why not have fun and inject some color into your life? That's exactly what I did, uh, which cool. is quite different to downstairs. And yeah, oh, well, that, that's what I was gonna say because it's like yeah, like you have all the fun in the bedrooms, like with the colors and all that, and then like you have like I guess, I guess like the regular sort of uh, fancy looking home downstairs, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I don't like about the toys in this game, like the little ones that you place, is that Sims will end up just putting them away. I in the, know. In the toy. It's like, can you just like leave them there, please? It's so sad. Like whenever I move my family into a new build, the first thing they do is like start packing up all the toys. I'm like, stop it. <laughs> I know. I, th I feel like when you put down a toy, that, that should be like the original space. So like when it's like when you click put away, they put it back where it was originally placed. That's how it should work. Yeah. Actually, that, that would be smart. That would be good. Oh, I like how that, that void critter looks like it's standing on the shelf. Yeah, it's cute. It's cute. Uh, also, right now, uh, my neighbor's cat is in my room where I am. <laughs> and it's just like sitting there staring at me. <laughs> so been like, whole time. Yeah, it's been there for like three hours. That's creepy. Yeah. One of the neighbors are looking for it. I don't know. When I let the cat into my house, because it like just sits there scratching at the door, um, one of the neighbors saw me like invited in. I was like, oh, I wonder if it's their cat. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think so. And this wallpaper I've never used, but I think it's really cool. Like it's, I imagine... It seems, when... it seems almost gothic because it's like purple yeah. and like, black. Yeah. Like it's gray, really. I feel like when I was younger, I would have thought this was pretty cool. Now I would be like, oh, hell no. <laughs> I would have been like, damn, that's cool growing up. <laughs> I would have all my friends come over and be like, damn. Damn, that's tight. With a like a lava lamp in the corner. <laughs> this game this game doesn't have lava lamps, does it? No. Oh, I should do. That'd be sweet. Lava lamps are so the thing back in the day. Oh, so good. So. So. so it's just so good. good. Um, yeah. Are there curtains in this house? No. Oh, the blinds. Oh, no. That's awkward. I don't like the curtains in the game a but lot of the like, time. There's no privacy. Well, you know what they have? They have those windows uh, that frost over. You know what they also have? Is the fact that they're Sims and actually don't care. So <laughs> it's probably fine. This is true. You try to do curtains. Oh, wait. I did do curtains. This is the only room that has curtains. Oh, really? <laughs> Lucky I put them in. I forgot. Oh, uh, and blinds? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, in the end, this was the best I figured I could do, so yeah. I always just use like, <laughs> like, like large single curtains and just put them on either end of the window so it's like that you sort of pull them back for a huge curtain thing. Yeah. Hey, screenshots. Nice. Yay. So here's the build. Like I said, if you want to watch James doing the actual build with us chatting, go across to his channel. 
Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys liked the furnishing and I hope you did too, James. I love it. It looks awesome. Thanks Yay! for furnishing. Oh, you kept the wine painting in the end, but you moved it, I guess. Oh, I did. And yeah, there's the dining That's area. That's totally good yellow. Stuff. It's, n- it's so mustard <laughs> cheese. Oh, whatever I said. Anyway. <laughs> you don't even know what it is. <laughs> you change your mind. We'll see in the comments down below. Uh, we'll, we'll, you guys can decide. Sauna. Sauna. Infrared. <laughs> Absolutely. No, nah, it's a steam sauna. Infrared steam sta- sauna. And yeah, and then all the bedrooms. So yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this build. Let us know if you want more collabs. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Do you want to say any last words, James? Well, thank you so much for having <laughs> me. And thank you for furnishing this house because I really did not want to. So I'm glad that you did and made it look so good. Make sure, like Daly said, to watch the build over on my channel if you want to hear some more bants and some great quality content. Uh, should be good. Uh, make sure yeah. to like, comment, subscribe. And, and have... And download this house uh, oh. on the gallery. Uh, I guess it'll probably be on your gallery. So you're yeah. going to get all the downloads for all my hard work, but that's fine. Probably. Are we but supposed anyway, to finish talking by now? Yeah, you totally oh, well, ruined know. the ending. But I thought, because it's still like, because it goes to 2633. So I thought we kept talking right to the end. <laughs> oh Not, my God. I didn't realize we we're supposed to stop <laughs> at your outro. Let's do the outro. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. Thanks for watching and have an, an awesome, awesome day. day.